They were learning how to pick the perfect pumpkin. Dan Province from Spring Hill Tree Farm joining us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. You brought some of your great products here. These are not yeah. just, you know, an average mini little pumpkin here. We, we, we got some big guys here. That's These are right. kind of special pumpkins as well. They are special pumpkins. It's called an orange bulldog, and it was developed by the University of Georgia. And researched at the Adipogas Research Station there okay. just in South Georgia. It was brought up from South America probably 12 or 13 years ago and they started doing all the tests there. And, um, and now we have a pumpkin that was developed for our area to grow because it's hard to grow pumpkins here because of all the diseases and viruses mm -hmm. we get late season. Most of the pumpkins people buy around here are grown elsewhere in cooler climates and brought here. Gotcha. But this particular pumpkin, uh, the orange bulldog, you can grow it here and everybody ought to have them in their garden and grow them. Is it that easy to grow it? They're very easy to grow. I mean, can grow. I handle it? You can. You can. <laughs> if you want to have this pumpkin at your house when you uh, got ready to carve it, save your seeds out, dry them out, put them in a dark place during the wintertime, bring them out in the spring and start planting them, and uh, you'd have big, healthy pumpkins growing. So you just got to get rid of the roasted seeds and try to, uh, well, you, you know, get, get rid you, of that temptation a little some, bit. You can eat some, but save some to plant. Now, are these different when you actually carve this one compared to maybe some of those ones you mentioned that were grown in the no, cooler climate? No, not in particular. Down. It does have a thick meat to it, but uh, there's not any difference. Got to be a little start. bit stronger when yeah, you're getting yeah. this one here. These don't have the same, quite the same color. Uh, right, you know? yeah. Yeah, they have a little bit of a salmon color, but they do get darker colors like that, and I've seen some that are just really dark red. They come in different sizes. The same pumpkin will give you small pumpkins, medium pumpkins, big ones. We had some up to 65 pounds this year. Wow. I've been saving seed for five years now, so I save the biggest seed every year. And last year, our biggest pumpkin was 40 pounds. Man. And then we have some long ones and odd shaped ones. And, uh, and those always just add to the design. Yeah, you know, they make things look yeah. cool. Yeah, so when you're right. heading out to the pumpkin patch, obviously the possibilities can be endless. How do you know, hey, this is the good pumpkin. This is the one I want. What are well, some of those key things to look you, for? You got to roll it around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Look at the bottom. Make sure it doesn't. If it's at the pumpkin patch, the chances are it could have bugs on it. Okay. Yeah, there could be spiders underneath it. Um, there could be little green worms that try to eat it. And, and that's at the uh, bottom is where we got to look. Well, there. at the bottom and the stem, either okay. wherever it's touching the the dirt, and um, and then you just want to make sure it doesn't have any soft spots to it. Right. And sometimes you can smell it. You can if a pumpkin's starting to rot. You can smell it. It's going to be yeah. a smell that stays Just with you, right? Leave, leave it, leave it, at, yeah. <laughs> leave it in the field. You know, it's one of those things. Obviously, one side of it's probably going to be a little bit, maybe dented or dirty, because it's been on the ground. That's where well, it's got to grow. Well, they're real heavy too. Right. And so when they, I've seen pumpkins that just they get so heavy they have a flat side on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. That's just the yeah. easier side to prop it up on your own display. Yeah. Or if you just lay it down and. Man, yeah. I am ready yeah. to go to the pumpkin patch. And if you want to head out, Spring Hill Tree Farm, you guys are up in Bainbridge selling yes, pumpkins that's right. all weekend long, you that's mentioned. Right. And that's continuing throughout October. There's that's a right. pumpkin patch, maze, hay rides, horse rides, a lot of good stuff there. You see the contact information on your screen. And of course, we will put it on our website, WTXL.TV. Dan, thank you so much for being here. Kelly, thank we you. We certainly appreciate I enjoyed it. it. Stay with us. We're back in just two minutes. Thank you. I love this.